It brings the tropical flavors right up front. We are here at Carl Strauss's Arts and Amps. I'm really excited to be here and it's really awesome. It's a free event. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Reviews on Brews with me, Brandon. Tonight, we will be reviewing a goodie that most of you probably know, but some of you might not. Uh, this one comes all the way from Vermont, and it's the Alchemist's Foco Banger. This is an IPA. It is 7% by alcohol volume. Um, this is this one's a little bit different. I know a lot of the um, IPAs and hazy IPAs and things like that. They tell you to like pour it in the can to get the full sense and stuff like that. These ones from the Alchemist are drink straight from the can. No glass needed. No glassware. No proper glassware. Nothing. Just straight can. Your mouth. End of story. Enjoyment. Um, I've had this before, but I haven't done an actual full-on review of it. So let's get into it. Here, watch. I'll pop this real fast. Boom. Alright. That's one of the hard things is honestly, it's like trying to smell stuff from the can is always a little bit harder, but check that out. So yeah, like I said, 7% uh, IPA from Vermont, um, brewed with citria and mosaic hops and our favorite British malts. Uh, truly a hoppy goodness, freshness control always a main concern when it comes to the beer. We're committed to providing uh, you with an unfiltered and unpasteurized hop experience. While I do recommend you drink it from the can, quite simply to ensure the delightful hop experience, the act of pouring it into a glass smells nice, but it re releases the essential hop aromas that we have worked so hard to retain. If you must pour it in a glass, we find that hop resin is settled at the bottom, then leave them in the can while uh, pouring. So pretty much if you do pour this out into a, a, a glass, there's like a little bit of settlement at the bottom and you just pretty much want to leave that at the bottom of the can. So don't pour that out. So yeah, um, I, let's see, canned March 17th. So a little under a month, but yeah. You get loads of hops from this, honestly. You just get right up there and smell that. It smells good. Cheers. It's really smooth. Lots of great hops character onto it. Um, lots of citrus. Definitely a little bit of dankness coming at, um, at me kind of as it settles down. Nice hoppy aftertaste. Lots of nice uh, resin and that like um, alpha acid characters coming through really nicely. Um, yeah. It's really easy drinking. I think I'm almost halfway through the can already and that was like two drinks. Um, really, really good. If you haven't got some already, the Alchemist definitely has been kind of uh, something like Russian River. It's been seen a little bit more, more often here in San Diego and Chula Vista. I grabbed this one from Brandywine, uh, but I know that Brandywine had it, uh, Machete had cans, uh, a bunch of other places probably had cans as well. So there's a bunch of different places you can go and pick this up. So yeah, when these come down into Chula Vista, these are definitely one of those mainstays that when I do see them down here, I do like to pick them up because they're getting down here more often, but they're still not readily available every single day. So it's nice to pick something up and try something from a different state and from a different uh, type of brewery. Um, the Alchemist, honestly, if you hadn't had Focal Banger or Heady Topper, you are definitely behind the times and if you're just getting into craft beer that should be one of those beers or two of those beers that you go seek out and try to get because they're a great brew honestly really good always solid always delicious so yeah as it warms up you definitely get a little bit more of the malt character coming through so it's nice to have a brew that has a little bit more of a hot background or a hot backbone i should say and the last little sentence in here is, drink this beer today because you could be dead tomorrow. John Kimmich. 
a little morbid, but kind of the back of the can sees the day kind of thing, or sees the night. Carpe nocturum, or carpe diem. I know diem's day, nocturum is night. I definitely get a little bit of caramel and a little bit of biscuity from that malt. Like, now that it's sat a little bit more and I've drank pretty much most of it, um, yeah, nice little toasted bread, uh, malt obviously, that like toasted bread malt, a um, little bit of sweet caramel, hints of sweet caramel, it's like toast and then caramel and then a little bit of grassy, I don't know why but I'll, a little bit of peanut, like peanut butter, I don't know, that's me, definitely picking up a little peanut butter, that might be the little bread mixed with like the grassy, kind of <clears throat> mixture but yeah the more it sits the more it kind of like resonates that it's a little bit of like peanut which is strange because I don't think I've ever I might have just down this the last couple times I've had it just, just had it straight and just kind of gone through it really quickly all right y'all that has been the alchemists focal banger from Vermont 7% IPA Definitely delicious, definitely hoppy, um, definitely some nice malt background to it, and yeah, definitely an all-around great beer, so if you haven't, go grab one, go try one, give it a try. Let me know down in the DMs, or the comments, I guess, if you liked it. <clears throat> Alright, if y'all like this video, make sure to like, and hit that follow, or you know what it is. CRUSH that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Crush that follow button. Crush that like button. Do you? It's 2020. We're all bored as hell in our houses, but hey, trying to provide some entertainment and some value or some joy. So yeah, hope you all had a happy Easter. I will see y'all on the next one. What is up with that shadow in my eye? Oh, that looks terrible. I just realized the mic is backwards. Technical difficulties always suck. Picking up sounds of sopa yakking.